Hello, my name is Denton Abel. I'm a curator at the American Museum of Natural History in New York. I curate the Meteorite Collection and the Ore Deposits Collection. And my name is Dr. Kate Kiseva. I'm an assistant curator at the American Museum of Natural History in New York, and I curate Mineralogy Collection. So right now we're standing by a giant geode of amethyst which came to us from Uruguay. And this geode, we think, has a very interesting history. Uh, about 130 million years ago, when the Atlantic was opening and South America was separating from Africa, a lot of magmas were formed, and these were like basaltic magmas, and they were erupting on the surface forming the Piranha Basin. So at around that time, these uh, magmas were quite bubbly and had large uh, gas bubbles. And some of these huge bubbles actually formed the shapes, and they got trapped very so close. They, they to actually the were in a magma that was yeah. moving, yeah. and so they're stretched out as the magma is cooling. Exactly, and they got trapped a little bit under the surface, unlike a lot of basalts which erupt right on top of the surface. So, and what happened next, then they got trapped and then they solidified and quartz started growing from the edges of this bubble inside, as you can see on this geode. So the source of the quartz is actually silicon and oxygen and water that's dissolving out of the rock around it. And then when it hits this bubble, it forms quartz crystals. And it took relatively short amount of time on a geological scale to form these quartz crystals. Uh, researchers think it's hundreds, maybe first thousands of years, but it took a much, much longer time to generate this beautiful deep purple color. And the deep purple color is a combination of a little bit of iron in the quartz and then some radiation from the nearby rock as radioactive elements like potassium decay, they give off uh, gamma rays and alpha particles which cause damage in the quartz. But the interesting thing is if you took this and put it in direct sunlight, after a couple of years, the quartz would turn clear again. So, and we think this, this is one of the largest um, amethyst geode uh, that is displayed in the museums and probably second largest after the one we yes. have at the American Museum of so Natural we History. We just in opened a, uh, a, c a couple of years ago, our new Gems and Mineral Hall, the, the uh, Allison Roberto Mignoni Family Hall of Gems and Minerals at the American Museum of Natural History in New York. And ours is a little taller, but this one has actually larger crystals. That's correct. So they're equivalent in some ways. And this is an amazing geode. And what you can see right here is a little bit of the mineral calcite, which is calcium carbonate. And what is it doing here? I don't have any idea. Maybe a late fluid that had some carbonation from the air itself, CO2, that caused this formation of that, of that mineral right there, which is very different from the quartz, from the amethyst. 